Board companies and skateboarding are the most important selling tool of a skateboard. Besides that person's name, it's the graphic that really pushes that. When Jim Thibault came out with the Hanging Klansman board graphic, I realized that skateboarding had a voice against racism and that I had allies in white skaters. The, the narrative that it spoke to was, you know, completely necessary. I wish other people would make statements like that. A statement that, um, that powerful is, is rarely made. I think it made people really, you know, start to consider what type of statements that they are making. Everybody has a freedom of expression and speech, you know what I mean? But you gotta know what your freedom of expression is, because everything can have a repercussion, you know what I mean? You put a board with that say nigger across, you might get your ass whooped. Sometimes we don't realize the pro picked that board graphic, but then there's the other side where an artist picks the graphic and put the pro's name on it. Well, you gotta realize though, I couldn't pick my image for a long time. You gotta remember, my first board was White Devil Board. Like, I had to travel around the world my first time being pro with a board with a white guy with a fucking horn. At that age, being 18, whatever, that shit had me in a lot of fights. I don't think there's a problem with talking about the white devil board. That's probably better than bringing up Javante. Javante in a watermelon fucking patch. He was just like doing things out of joke. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, if Jim Thibault kills a Klansman, why are you stressing about it? Because in all reality though, if you're not worried about the Klansman, why is it hitting you that deep? It's how you're built, it's how you were raised, and how you live. With the Rise graphic, it wasn't even like on some black power or anything. It was just like, you know, a moment, just like a rise up against, you know, rise through the cracks. It's like such an iconic moment where you just like fist up. Skateboarding, like many other things, once it becomes such a tight click, it puts up some walls and barriers that need to be broken down. That's the beauty of skateboarding, is those walls aren't very high and they're not hard to get over.